All right, guys, this is getting really out of hand. This is like the fifth time I have made this silly video. <laughs> so, I tried just doing it on my cell phone real quick last night so I could just upload it from my cell phone and I had all kinds of issues. Just a struggle I had, I left out some parts. So I'm remaking this video. If you saw the first version, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you something important. But let's jump in here to Betaflight and check this stuff out. First and foremost, you got your quad, you connect everything up. You gotta have the new Betaflight configurator. You gotta be on Betaflight 3.2, at least one of the release candidates. The thing that I had trouble with up front, this is actually pretty stinking simple, but uh, one of the things that gave me a lot of trouble is I initially tried to do this while being on multi-shot. So you absolutely have to change D-shot and it worked. So you have to make sure that you're on a compatible D-shot protocol here in Betaflight and then go over to BL Heli and make sure that your ESCs are flashed with a D-shot compatible firmware. That was an issue for me. I had selected D-Shot in Betaflight, but when I got over to BL Heli, the version of firmware I had was not D-Shot compatible. Make sure your D-Shot in Betaflight and make sure your D-Shot in BL Heli. Once you got that, you can head over to your modes tab. I set up Aux 1 to ARM. I also set up level mode and horizon mode for some reason. I absolutely never use them. Air mode, I have that on a switch. Uh, it turns on whenever I ARM to keep Betaflight from eating my face, I guess. And then down down here, this is where the magic happens, sort of. You have to enable this mode, D-Shot Reverse Command. I put that on Aux 3 and then click Save. All right, now we head over to the CLI command line. This was the final hurdle I had to overcome in doing this, and that is that by default in Betaflight, there's a safety feature that will keep you from arming if you're not in a flat position. Now this is a safety feature, so since we are disabling it, you need to be careful and just realize that you are disabling a safety feature in beta flight. If your quad eats your face because you disabled the safety feature, don't act like it's a gremlin inside of beta flight. You disable the safety feature. This feature we're talking about is small angle. You can check out and see what your default is by typing get small angle, this one says 20, and what that means is that if the quad is over a 20 degree angle, it will not arm. What we need to do is we need to set this to be 180 degrees. So to do so, we'll type set small underscore angle equals 180, hit enter, that's it, good to go. So uh, we'll type save and uh, jump out of here. On the quad itself, that's all you gotta do. Don't forget to mess with the firmware on your ESCs. But once all of that is done, we've gotta mess with our radio. Uh, the way I set up my switch is, my arm used to be back here, but I broke it off at the regional finals. That really sucked. So this is my arm. I use this for my modes. This switch I use for buddy boxing, so that's my trainer switch. If I wanna give the other controller control, I flip that switch, I've got that set up in here. What I like to do is I like to set this switch right here up as my aux three. So to do so, you get your model selected, hit page, page, page. Obviously this only helps you if you're a Tyrannus user. In inputs, I have an input here called turtle that I've set up. You go down to source, you hit enter so it's flashing, and you flip the switch you want to do. So I like to use this switch H. So I just flip it, it selects it. All right, that works. Let me go page over one more time. Go to channel seven, edit that one, and the same thing. You just uh, make sure it's all there. All right, so the way it works in practice is you're at your race, you're flying around, woo, oh no, and you crash, you're upside down. You have to disarm, you hold this toggle. I like I like that it's a spring-loaded toggle switch because that, you know, I won't accidentally arm it that way. But I hold down that switch, then you arm. Now your quadcopter is eating up the grass and freaking out because it's upside down and the props are spinning the wrong way. Now it's essentially just running backwards. So you could just fly around upside down if you want. You could take off and try to fly around and I guarantee you, unless you're a great 3D pilot, you're gonna crash all over the place. But you could just throttle up and it'll go straight up in the air and then throttle back down and maybe it'll fall right side up or what I have noticed works best is to just roll or pitch depending on how the quadcopter is kind of angled you can kind of roll pitch and and try to get it just to flip over and that's it guys I hope this was helpful to you um, I've got links to all my favorite gear down in the description so if you're looking to buy something feel free to use those links it would help me out and uh, we will catch you next time don't be a turtle
uh, turtle mode's working pretty good. 